In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you could create a multi-page web application using the Streamlit Python library. And without further ado, we're starting right now. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is fire up the terminal. So let me change to the working directory, cd desktop, cd streamlit, this is right here, streamlit, and then cd multi-page folder, let's take a look at the contents. All right, and then we're going to change into the Conda environment. And then let's fire up the web application. Okay, so this is the web app. And let me open up the Atom. So the multi-app.py is the simple framework that allows you to have multi-page using the Streamlit Python library. So in prior videos, I've shown you how to create Streamlit web application, and that was predominantly based on a single web page. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you could create this multi-page web app using this simple framework. And so we're going to be calling the multi-app.py as a function from directly app.py. And so the app.py is going to be the main file where we're going to be importing Streamlit. We're going to be importing the multi-app function from the multi-app Python file. And then from the apps folder here, we're going to be importing the data.py, home.py, and also model.py. And so these are the pages of the web app. And so there will be a total of four Python files that we're going to be using here that will constitute the web application that we're going to be building today. So you could think of the app.py as kind of like a placeholder that will link to the home page to the data page and also to the model page. And you could feel free to add more than three pages here. You could add 10 if you like. And so you would also add 10 here as well. And then you're going to be putting it all in the apps folder or any folder that you like, but you just need to call the name of the folder followed by the name of the Python files here. Home corresponds to home.py, data corresponds to data.py, model corresponds to model.py. And so we're going to be referring it here as well, home, data, and model, home.app, data.app, model.app. Let's take a look at each of the individual files here. Upon loading up the web application, you're going to be loading up this file. So this file will contain a simple printing out of the title here, home, which is right here, home, and then st.write, and then we're gonna be printing out something here. This is the homepage of this multi-page app. It's right here. And then the next one, st.write, and then the input argument is the text here in this app. We will be building a simple classification model right here using the Iris data sets. And so this is the navigation bar, and if you click on it, it's going to be a drop down. So you will be able to select whatever page that you want to go to. So let's say that I clicked on data. I will be going to the data page. It will be triggering the data.py right here. And so this will essentially print out the name of the page, the description of what the page is doing. It will be loading up the Iris data sets, and then it will be using that to create a data frame and then displaying the data frame using the st.write function. And if I click on model, it will go to the model page right here. And so the model page will do the same thing, print out the name of the page right here. It will print out the description of the page, what it is doing. And then it will be loading up the Iris data set again and then it will be building a model, performing data splitting, and building a classification model using the random forest. And then finally, we will be printing out the accuracy score right here. 
And so this is a very simple application that will allow you to have several web pages. And so this is brought to you by Pranil Nihar, who developed this Streamlit multi-apps framework. And I'm providing the links to his GitHub repo and also the Medium article for which he has written. And so please make sure to check that out and give him a like or two. And I would like to hear from you how you're intending to use this multi-page functionality. And so please comment down below. If you're finding value in this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.